probably doesn't get any better than this. Defending Premiers versus the minor Premiers. Penrith, the youngest team in the finals. And the Roosters, the oldest team in the finals. It's probably the most nervous I've been um, coming into a match. The day of the game, I was yeah, pretty, pretty nervous wreck. Um, you know, just couldn't sit still at home. Just wanted it to, you know, already arrive pretty much. I wasn't really too worried about our side and our experience in our side. I knew we had good leaders there and who we got. And um, a lot of us boys have played a lot of junior finals together. So I wasn't really worried about our experience or anything like that. I just, the extra nerves for me were just the weight of the game and, and um, the importance of it. I'm a bit relaxed on game day. I just have my headphones on because I think there's there's music on on the big um, big speaker, but I'd like to be listening to my own Fiji and gems. Good brother, ready to go, ready to go. I guess at the start I'm, I'm, I'm kind of to myself, kind of get myself prepped, mentally prepped, and then just check in, you know, always just check in to see if everyone's right, you know, you're ready to roll. Not knowing what to expect of the game, like they all talk about how it's different um, coming into finals. I was a bit anxious about that. Boys, finals footy is our game. Grind, 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 all right? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing all year. Grind, break, execute, all right? We're going to build this place. We're going to battle out of each other, eh? Work hard, boys. That's what it's all about. This room right here. Brothers right here, all right? We had Ramey and Biz bouncing around like they normally do, and everyone was just really the same. Really focused. Seven thousand here. They are going bananas, and the atmosphere here—it'll just lift the Panthers. They said we'd never make it, but here are the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Clearly kicks off, goes to Kieran. They're working the blinds. Are Josh Morris? He dives in to score. Five gone. A barge over attempt there by the number nine Lusick. Man, this is deja vu from round one. Uh, which we hadn't, we actually hadn't, that hadn't happened to us since that game. They're the sort of things that were going through my head at the time. We were really calm behind the try line, which was um, really pleasing. You had Appy there as well, talking and everyone listens to Appy, so he was really focused. Give us a good direction of where we needed to go to be able to get ourselves back in the game. Yeah, remember clearly Appy's boys just saying that's the best they got. They, they won't go any better than that. So that sort of just changed the mindset of a lot of, a lot of the boys. And when we went back for that kickoff after their second try, yeah, the game changed from there. Brett Morris, and he's uh, swarmed upon by the Panthers. They're going to try and put him in a touch. OK, that's a good play. Uh, yeah, at the time, going, OK, that, hopefully that leads to something. And luckily, we scored uh, just after that. And I think that really settled everyone's nerves. And then, yeah, then we went on with this little great period for the rest of the half, like totally dominated, really. Picks the ball up, puts a little kick in, and then might be a try. Coaches pretty much say they're, they're not going away. So. I was actually more nervous then than like when they were 10 up. Start, start, now we start. Came out in the second half and played well. I thought we started really well, and again, we were, yeah, had it. Um, you know, you never say you've got it covered, so, but certainly against anyone you know, like the Roosters. And in those finals games, you, there's just so many ebbs and flows because everyone's really, you know, no one sort of gives up. When they scored and then they scored again, it's like, well, it's on, you know, game on here. Captain. 
Orbison yeah. way to Oh, JWH yeah. just put it down cold. He's just played there by Yo. And here's the drop goal attempt by Nathan Cleary. He likes it. He's pumping the air. When Nathan kicked the field goal, I was like, should be done. I mean, we all know what happened next. I think it, we just sort of relaxed a little bit, and then obviously the Roosters of the quality side, they got they just um, come out really hard and just made us fight to the end there. Happy to give it up. Here's Crichton with the chance. Oh, yes. He's gone all the way. Quick conversion here. So We've got one point in a minute and a half, Ray. Orbison, he's gone for the drop yeah. goal. Stood up and then I seen sort of Flanagan on the side, but I seen Kiri like standing right in front of him. He was trying to line up for, for the post and yeah, Appy pulled me up and then just pushed me and then he just sort of run like right behind me. That was last air in my lungs. So I was like, this is going to be pretty much the, the last play of the game. So yeah, he ran as fast as I could. He's gone for the drop yeah. goal. Kiri hits it and hasn't got the length. It's bounced about five metres away. And then I looked up, I could see the ball just going straight, dead straight on the black dot, and then it just uh, fell short. And yeah, when Source took it, I was like, oh. 29-28. The minor premiers over the defending premiers. Siren in the background, the arms go up. Referee says, that's it. Game is over. Let's go! The siren actually sounded was more relief that you know we got through it rather than um, joy or something like that. Yeah, well, we finished the game feeling like mm, we, we can do better than that. We're going to need to. I mean, the way we played, we just knew there was so much work to be done if we were to go further in the in the final series. There's some stuff in there that we're, we're going to have to fix up, and that was obvious. Just just seeing the boys straight away after the game, they were happy, but they weren't satisfied. A, let's just say we went on with that game, getting up to 28-10 and went on, scored a couple more tries. And might have been a bit harder to keep their mind on the job um, for this week in particular. Viliama Kikau is tonight pleading his case at the NRL Judiciary in a bid to play in the Panthers grand final qualifier next week. The feeling I had when I walked in here, I had no, I knew I, was, I wasn't going to win it. I, I didn't tell him but I knew straight away, I don't even know. But just because the situation was, even if I lose, I still got one week, so why not just try and fight it? And then we had a chat with a lawyer, and I sort of changed from then because I said, like, what the lawyer was saying, I was like, oh, 
actually I might have a case here and then yeah my hopes went through the roof I was like oh yeah let's find it and uh, let's hope for the best I don't think there was anything really wrong with it um, it looked worse but I knew Kicks had a fair few carryover points so I sort of felt like he was in a bit of trouble can't say I was all that confident that we'd get off stand now well, can you hear me, Mr. Kicker? Yes. <clears throat> All right, then. Uh, we, I'll ask Mr. Cray to deliver the panel's verdict. Thanks. Thanks, Chairman. Uh, we find the play against you. Guilty. Thank you. I just walked out and then just pled guilty. I was just sitting there waiting for, is there something else he's going to say? or? And then Rigos just looked at me, I was like, oh, is that it? Thanks for your attendance. How much else we can do there, bro? Not much. I don't know, I felt so down, and then the next day we walked in, and the coaches could just tell straight away. Uh, just no energy, nothing at all, and I had a chat with, um, I had a chat with Shiro, and he just uh, sort of told me, he's like, there's no other thing you can do to, to, to play in this next game, but you have every chance to play in the Big Ten, so it's how you help the boys to, to win this game. Had a little conversation on, yeah, it's looking like any time you end up in the judiciary, it's not kind of going too good, so yeah, we're going to have to have a little bit of, a, bit of a think about um, some little technique things, but probably more mental in the heat of the battle when he fires up a bit. Yeah, throughout the week, I just sort of brought a lot of energy, trying to get the boys up, help the peeps on the field, and just testing testing them out when I was training with the, with the other boys. Probably more look to the positives for a guy like Kurt Capewell. Um, and, and he's a kind of, he brings good energy as well, and it's a good, great opportunity for him. He only played in that position two weeks ago, so that's really fresh in everyone's mind. He scored two tries and played well, so that helps. You know, it's not like Kicks has been playing every game. He's had a couple of weeks in and out, um, and I just think, I think the team's confident enough to, okay, yeah, I mean, Kicks is obviously yeah, a big part of our team, but if he's not there, we're not gonna use an excuse and, and we can get, you know, get on with it. I'm a tad concerned. All right, so get the markers right, get our black defense right to save your eyes. We're getting close, mother. Stay in the moment and play the game. Why are you moving to good? That's all I thought about.